What's up you guys? It's your girl, it's Penny Duh. Um, I'm back with another video. So today's video, I just want to talk to you guys about how to prepare for the board and how to win the board, okay? So just follow these steps and I promise you, your board will be easy. Whether it's a promotion board, soldier of the month board, yada yada yada. But I also want to say I'm sorry for not being as active lately. Uh, there's been a lot going on, especially since January. Uh, December, January is time. I don't know if you guys heard about Iran and stuff. You've been keeping up with the internet, but I'm in. I'm saying that for brag, but uh, it's just crazy. It's been it's it's been super crazy since then, and I have not stopped working my butt off. Like I've been working crazy hours. Um, you know, I just been working a lot since you know that little issue that we were having, and you know, we just gotta be prepared. You know what I'm saying, but. We just, I just been working some crazy hours and I want to apologize for that. I'm alive. I did not get sent down range. Um, I'm not in Iraq or anything. I'm still here in the United States, but I just want to let you guys know I've just been super busy and I'm still busy right now, but I have time right now. I'm on, I'm on convalescent leave or whatever. You're trying to go to the board, right? Um, this is what you need to do to prepare for the board, okay? It's real simple. The board is really easy. It's as easy as you make it, honestly. Um, I've been to already three boards. But anyways, what to study? You guys are gonna wanna study the Army song, the Army values, the general orders. You wanna know the NCO creed. Like, that's a big one, especially for the promotion board. Well, all of them, really. If you know the NCO creed and you're like a private or whatever and you come in there saying the NCO creed, Nine times out of ten, when it comes to your promotion board, Sergeant Major or whoever was running your board is going to be like, check. So you're going to be good, I promise. You want to know your unit history, all of that. All of that. I promise you. My roommate's here. Hold on one second. <clears throat> Those are a few things that you're going to need to study. Um, you're going to want to study, 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 study. Now, of course, in the board, you may or may not get all the answers right or wrong, but that's okay if you get them wrong. In the board, they're not really looking at you getting the answers right. Well, I mean, kind of, sort of, but not really. That's not the main thing to win a board. But if you want to study, you want to study. They have, like, freaking board question books. You could look online. You could go to friends, you know, resources, anything. But what you want to study, so don't just study anything, okay? You're going to waste your time. What you want to study, you want to study what's on the MOI. And the MOI is like a little sheet, whatever, and it tells you what regulations blah 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 what categories to study from so don't waste your time studying around those categories like i mean if you want to study for them but make sure you study what's inside of the categories and if you want to study what's outside of the categories just to have more knowledge why not but i'm just saying don't really waste your time i feel like my camera's blurry. you don't really have to waste your time when they're going to give you a sheet of paper and tell you exactly what material to study so i'd study what's in that material and if you want to get some more knowledge why not go for it so Preparing for the board, you want to make sure your ASUs are squared away. Squared away. I'm going to put so much extra on that word. You want to make sure they're good, they're tidy, neat, all of that. Make sure you limp. Roll them out, roll them out. Don't come to the board wearing no high waters. I came to the board wearing high waters one time. I swear I did. And they dock points off for that. Because they, they evaluate you during the board. They have a piece of paper. You know, I don't really know what's on that paper. It's a piece of paper. I used to have the paper. I forgot what it said, but they pretty much take away points or give you points based off of what you score in that area. Um, so don't come. Make sure your freaking pants are long enough. Um, your uniform fits tight and, I mean, nice. Uh, what else? You make sure you have a haircut. Make sure you have a haircut, ladies. Don't be coming in there with no ratchet, my quee quee nails. Don't do that. Don't do that. I mean, you can come in there with some fake nails, but make sure they, you know, in regulation because <laughs> please don't. Don't be coming there with no extra makeup. Just, you know, come looking professional. This is a, a job interview. Job interview. This is their evaluation to determine whether or not you're ready to become an NCO. Now, if you come in there any type of way, then yeah. So just go there as if it was a job interview. You want to be confident, you know what I'm saying? Some other things you need to know before the board. You need to have a bio. You gotta write a bio. Now the bio is about you. You can't get that wrong. If you don't know anything about yourself, 
I don't know what to tell you, but pretty much your bio needs to say something like, oh, my name is Specialist, blah, blah, blah. I'm from blah, blah, blah. I joined the military when I was da, da, da. I became a cook. I don't know, whatever. Something just, you know, something general. It's about you kind of starting off, but then you join in the army, your first duty station, da, da, da. But people can help you with that. It shouldn't be hard at all. Like, I've written like three bios and I got help from all types of people. So, and as your time progresses in the military, you're gonna have to keep adding on to your bio. So, but that, that should be the easy part. That's like literally the easiest part, literally, is to know your bio, because it's about you. And um, you know everything about yourself. Um, another way to prepare for the board, you can practice with mock boards. Now, a mock board is just like a fake practice of the real run of the board. Uh, you can do it with people you're close with, people you're not close with. That way you can get, someone get a feel what the board's gonna be like, and you go in there, and you just already kind of get the general idea, you know what I'm saying? I prefer to do it with people you're not comfortable with, because you're not gonna be comfortable nine times out of 10 when you go in there and see sergeant majors, all the first sergeants, blah, blah, blah. Nine times out of 10, you probably don't even know all of them. I know I don't know all the first sergeants here, which I probably should, you know, get on that cool side, but you know, life doesn't work that way. Um, so yeah, that's one thing you want to do is, you know, try to get out your comfort zone because the board, <laughs> you may be like that at the board. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, the board's not that hard. Like I said, I've been to three. Be real honest, I got kicked out of one because I was fidgeting too much. Uh, can't move. But anyways, I'm gonna talk about board day. So, on the day of the board, you want to come with your sponsor and your board packet. Mm -hmm. Your sponsor and your board packet. Now, your sponsor is the person that's gonna be talking on your behalf. That is how you win the board. If your sponsor can go in there and talk great things about you and convince the president of the board and the board members that you're just, oh, this great, so amazing thing, I promise you, that board will be easy for you. Your sponsor is everything. I promise you, he's like, you're like the cupcake, but he's the icing, he or she is the icing. Like they they the cherry on the top. They top everything off. They that's how you win the board, like straight up. By your sponsor talking. So whoever's bring you to the board, you better hope. You better hope you made a good impression on them. Because they're they're gonna determine whether you win the board or not. Or how hard or easy your board will be. By them. So you better hope your sponsor one is a good <laughs> good person to speak and two you better hope you did something great in their eyes um when you get to the board the way i did it we were lined up outside uh of the freaking door because it's inside like a little conference room and all the soldiers or whoever was getting ready to do the board were all lined up and the next years who they come out and tell you okay the next person got knock on the door blah blah so they shut the door you knock on it. You want to make sure knock is firm. I mean, talking about firm. Don't be too extra with it. And don't be too quiet. You want to just, you know, boom, boom, boom. You know, firm knock. And then they're going to tell you to come in or open or whatever they say. And you walk in there, right? You want to make sure that walk you got is the confidence walk in the road. I'm talking about you got to be the man slash woman. You got to own that board. You got to walk in there like you just, sh okay? You know what I'm saying? Um, you can walk in there with a military walk, you know, left, right, left, right, you know. Um, just walk in there, don't do nothing extra. Don't be confident, keep your head up high. You know, do the little military walk, they teach you from basic training, blah, blah, blah. It's ugly, but hey. You walk up to the president of the board, you say, special so-and-so reporting to the president of the board, they gonna salute you back. Don't, don't drop your salute before they drop theirs. Let them drop theirs first, and then you drop it, right? Okay, um, they're in the board. Come question time, right? They're gonna, whoever's asking you the question, you wanna respond one of three ways. You could be like, okay, if they're like, do you like the color purple? You could be like, yes, I like the color purple, Sergeant Major, whoever's asking you the question. Or you can be like, Sergeant Major, yes, I like the color purple. Or no, if you don't like the color purple, they're probably not gonna ask you, ask you that, but you know, da da da. You can also say, yes, Sergeant Major, I do like the color, Sergeant Major. You can answer with, in the beginning, at the end, or in both, beginning and at the end. It doesn't really matter. Uh, personally, I think saying it twice is extra, but some people with the board like that. Um, 
they're going to ask you to take a seat. Now, if there's no seat, please don't be that one person to sit on the ground. Don't do that. Don't sit on the ground. Do not sit on the ground. Okay, there's no seat. Look back. You don't see a seat? Stand up, okay? Um, there is a seat. You want to go to that seat as normal as possible. Just sit down. It's that simple. Take a seat. Like, that's all I can say. From that point on, when you take your seat or whatever, however they, however the person run the board, the way I did it was they had me take a seat and they had me start with my bio and I told them about myself. When you're saying your bio, you want to start with the sergeant major of the board first, right? The president of the board, I'm sorry. The president of the board, you want to be like, my name is blah, 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 and you want to go around to all the other board members and talk to them like you're having a conversation. But when you start, you want to start on the president of the board and you want to end on the president of the board because, you know, it's just that, you know, it's, it's an interview. It's, it's like an interview. Um, you want to make sure you're as still as possible. You don't want to have no extra movement, no extra blinking, just a normal conversation. You want to be confident, sitting up high and strong. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you guys how to sit down on it, um, but you guys want to be confident. Don't do any extra movement, I promise you, because that takes off points. That's how you can lose the board, because that's showing them that you're nervous, blah, blah, blah. What they're looking for is, this is your evaluation if you're ready to become an NCO. They want people who's confident. They want people who can take charge, da, 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 da. They don't want nobody who's doing the most, so don't do the most. Um, that's pretty much the board, like, you're gonna ask the questions like that, you know, be confident about everything you say, even if you don't know the answer, sometimes it's best to just not lie, but if you, okay, for example, if they ask you a question, you already answered that, do not change it, because sometimes they're gonna be like, are you sure? Are you sure? And you're gonna be like, yes, I am sure, sorry, major, whoever's asking the question, don't change it, don't be like, oh, mm. don't do that, because that, you can lose the board by doing that too. Um, but that's that's pretty much the board guys. That's really it. Like there's not much to it. You just gotta be confident and have a dope sponsor and you gotta you gotta know the NCO creed. Like you have to. Don't mess up that. Make sure you you talk just like the video talks, like you don't wanna, you wanna say it too fast, too slow, you gotta say it just right. Um you gotta make sure you look clean and that's how you pass a board, I mean. It's not about how many questions you get right, it's about your confidence and your ability to answer, give an answer. Like, it's it's not really about, I mean, yeah, it's about answering questions right, but they're not really looking for that. They are they want confidence. They want people who are, you know, sure about themselves, who's not going to doubt or, you know. And if you, you might not know the answer, it's okay to say, Sergeant Major, I do not know the answer at this time. It's okay, you're honest, you know, they don't expect you to know everything because that's not the real reason of the board. Okay, so I mean, I mean, that's really it. At the end, you're gonna stand up, whatever, whenever they release you, you salute, and then you walk out normal. Just walk out normal. Don't do nothing extra, don't, don't try to fix your chair, don't, just walk out. And that is it, and that's the board, like, legit. Sometimes at the board, they might ask you to say the army song before, stand up, say the intel creed, and stuff like that. Sometimes they won't. Sometimes you won't even get answered any questions, depending on who your sponsor is. They might just be like, okay, say the intel creed, or sometimes they might not even do that. They might just be like, you got your peace status. Boom. That was nice doing business with you. But yeah, that, that's pretty much it. Okay? So don't be nervous. I promise you it's not that bad. I've been to three. I'm gonna go to four soon. And. I know I'm gonna do good because I'm confident. Um, I also forgot to mention sometimes with board you guys gotta do like left face, right face movements. It's real simple. I mean, you learn that in basic training. Um, you do it at AIT, stuff like that. You should be fine with that. It's, it's really nothing. It's really nothing, guys. I promise you. My roommate's here, so I'm trying to talk kind of quiet. I don't know if you guys can hear. Anyway, so. I'm gonna show you guys how to sit down at the board and that's gonna be the end of my video. Uh, I'll be posting more videos. I ain't forgot about y'all, I promise. I love y'all so much. But that's how to win the board and that's how to prepare for a board. I hope my information was A1. Um, okay.